Welcome to iTrain from DCC Train Automation. Okay, what is iTrain? I get asked this numerous times every day, so let's just try to explain briefly what iTrain can do for you. Um, so it's a method of controlling your layout via your computer, manually, semi-automatic or automatically. This doesn't mean that you have to just let the computer run your trains, you can run your trains. You can let iTrain control certain elements, the signals, the blocks, so you get anti-collision with the blocks, or you can set routes so trains will automatically run to a route or a schedule that you wish to run. Whether it's a timetable of events, that can be an automatic thing, but you could have that running and you could manually still run your own trains. So every element that's available to iTrain is can be put on your layout so whether it's a signal a turnout an uncoupler a reverse loop everything can be controlled even the lights in buildings you can dim with all lights now so if you had lights there you want to go through night and day you can have different brightnesses of lights in the houses or the street lights it can all be controlled via iTrain um, very simply you can drag and drop locos from one block to another and hit route and it would automatically drive that train to that destination or you can just reserve routes and manually drive them, or you can just manually drive them from your hand throttle. So if you were starting to drive the train in a direction of travel and the point was in a set position, iTrain would know you're going this way and it would automatically reserve the block ahead of you. These are some of the benefits of iTrain. So if trains were automatically running and you manually drove it and you'd reserve that block, not a, another train can then not use that block. It can also be used for as a mimic panel. So if you just wanted to have basic routing and things like that, these blue dots you can see on the track plan here, set specific routes and locks the turnouts. So when you hit click on one, it would lock a, a set route, for example. And you'd see padlocks coming up and show that route was locked. They would never unlock until again you press that blue button. So that's more manual operation. This is just an overlook and some of the things that you can do with iTrain. Um, but if you watch our videos on this new website, you'll be able to see how you can produce all of this for your own layout. I hope this is of interest. Please follow our videos and watch. Thank you very much.